my name is Sabina Francisco. I am a fantasy wildlife artist and today I'm going to be reviewing for you this lap slash table easel. So let's go ahead and head back into my studio and I'll give you my thoughts. Welcome to my studio. Today we are going to be talking about the lap slash table easel by Art Alternatives and I am so excited to share this with you. I have been wanting one of these forever. I have a an art desk and it's typically sitting facing up, um, but I really love to sketch on the, when I'm on the couch and I also love to go and plein air sketch and do landscape sketching, that kind of thing. And this has just been absolutely invaluable for both of those things. I've tried a bunch of different lap easels and I have not found one before this one that I really liked and they're kind of expensive. They run anywhere from $90 up. This one cost about $100 at Blix. Um, and so, you, you know, you really want to make sure that the, that the product that you're getting is really good quality if you're going to be spending that kind of money. And after doing a ton of research and trying a ton of, of other ones, I found that this one has been the best one that I've found and I am so happy with this. Having said that, it does have a few cons to it that I would love if they would, would fix. So I will talk to you about that in just a second, but let me first go through all of the features. Um, just like most easels, uh, lap slash table easels, it does move up and down to varying degrees. So it moves all the way from flat all the way completely straight up, which is great. The one thing that makes this one different is that when it is laying a little bit lower, it has very strong screws. Most of the time with a lot of, with most of these lap easels that I have tried, if if you tighten the screws when it's laying down at any at any level, if you put any kind of weight on it, it just falls flat, which is really frustrating. This one actually takes a lot of weight to it and a lot of pressure to it, and the screws are nice and strong, so it doesn't move at all. Also, as you just saw, it does, um, the, the bars, both the top and the bottom bar, move, so it accommodates a lot of different sized papers and a lot of different, uh, or canvases, so it goes up and it goes down really far. I tend to use an 11 by 14 sketch pad and I use the entire pad and so it's very heavy. So one of the cons of this is that this bottom bar, if you don't make sure that it's absolutely tight and really super tight, it will fall. It does slip and that gets to be a little bit on the frustrating side. It's not a major thing though um, because as long as you make sure that it's nice and tight then it doesn't get to be a problem and, and it doesn't really slip a whole lot. In fact, most of the time you won't even really need to move it unless you're using a really huge canvas or a really huge um, pad of paper. It is uh, portable, so it has a handle here that you can use to carry it. It's made of real wood, so it is a little bit on the heavier side, just naturally, even when it's empty. Um, but that is, I'll talk to you about the, the drawer in just a second and, and why I, I don't really see that as being a con. But just to kind of touch on a couple of other quick things, it does have a latch here that um, when you are carrying it, it does latch shut to ensure that this does not fall forward. So that's a really nice feature too. All right, so getting to the fun part, my favorite part, which is the drawer. I absolutely love this feature because the drawer is nice and thick and nice and deep. And so it allows you to fit all, just about all of, all of allows me to fit at least just about all of my equipment. Um, it's, it's deep enough for painters who use the really long brushes, so it does fit that. Um, and it also has a couple of smaller drawers to fit things like erasers and pencils and things like that. Um, and for me, I, I use um, a brush and I use pencils and all kinds of things. So it fits all of that and each of those drawers is nice and deep. So as you can see, it fits a lot of equipment. It does, once again, like I said, it does tend to make it heavier. But the reason why I don't see that as being a negative, why I don't create, a, a give that a, as a con, is because I don't have to carry a separate box when I'm out doing plein air that carries all of my equipment. So it's, I'm really just carrying one piece of equipment because you can attach your canvas or you can attach your pad of paper to the um uh, to, to the to the piece and it actually holds pretty sturdy so you're just carrying one piece of equipment out there so like I said again yes it is heavier but it's it latches nice and sturdy so uh, and and you don't have to carry anything else so that makes it nice here's one con about the drawer it fits just about everything but the kitchen sink except for bigger 
pieces. Like for example, this uh, um, pencil sharpener, it's kind of an odd shape, but, and, and it sticks up. And so it doesn't, it doesn't fit in, in the drawer. The drawer doesn't take that. So if you have any kind of uh, art supplies that are odd shaped or that are, that are bigger, it's about, um, the drawers are about two and a half inches deep. So if it's anything bigger than that, it won't take it. That's kind of a con, but most art supplies aren't really that big, so you don't really have to worry about it. So long and the short of it is that this is just a really awesome piece of equipment. It is one of my favorite things, one of my favorite art supplies of all time, so I would not hesitate to recommend this to anybody. I think it's really awesome. If you have any questions about this particular piece of equipment, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments area below and I will answer those for you. Also, if you have another art piece of art equipment or an art supply that you would like me to review, leave that down in the comments also. Thanks again for joining me. See ya.